Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Crisis on Infinite Earth. So tomorrow night, we're going to be getting the crossover returning. So be on the lookout for those videos. I should make two separate videos because it's going to be part four and part five on the same day. I apologize for the last few days. I've just simply been really busy and I, quite frankly, haven't had the time to get around to making this video. But basically, I've had this on my list for ages for the last few days. I've been like trying to do it. But there were so many goddamn trailers for Crisis that I was like, what am I doing? And I just sort of got overwhelmed. So I've compacted it into this one whole video. This is sort of your sneak peek into tomorrow because we haven't got any sneak peeks. But these are short little teasers that act as sneak peeks. I think that's what they're sort of intending them to be like. But also the main final trailer that they released. I don't think the main final trailer was edited that well, it wasn't like super hype like you know the first trailer or like the final trailer before Crisis first started, but I mean I like these small little teasers and obviously it teases a lot of good stuff, so I'm not really going to like break down the trailers separately, I'm going to talk about them as like one whole thing because you know they're all different shots, I've screen capped them and I'm going to talk about those individually so it doesn't really matter what trailer it's from but it's from about four to five trailers there's like a Lex trailer, there's a Green Arrow trailer, there's a Monitor trailer, there's the Final trailer I think there's one more or something like that as well so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year like I said tomorrow Crisis Returns I should be up and I should make a video just you know after part four then I'll watch part five and I'll release part five like you know later in the day 5 p.m. or so UK time when I normally release the reviews so the part four should go up like at least like 10 to 12 hours before part five's review goes up so be on the lookout for that also watch the crossover obviously that's a no-brainer but yeah do that so you don't get spoiled or anything like that so let's go ahead and get into these sort of teasers that they've released Okay, so the first shot in one of the teasers, I think this is the Dawn of Time teaser, and so they're at the Dawn of Time, and they've obviously enhanced the colour, it's very green and sort of very luminous and, and like, very glossy, so obviously they've heightened the, the whites and everything like that, so I think it looks alright, but I really think they've overkilled the colour here, because, you know, it's... I know it's supposed to be completely different, but it's really different, like it's actually kind of strange, like the sort of glowiness of it, and it, I don't know, it's a bit of the uncanny I guess, but still looking forward to it. This shot looks a lot better, yes obviously the whites in the background are really blown up and everything like that, like I said the greens, but also the blacks work in here, and I think you can see the characters better. I think maybe my problem was in some of these shots you sort of unable to perfectly see the characters and their outlines and you know the colors are there because you know the greens really overkilling everything and you can't even see like you know anything <laughs> really so let's move on to the next shot so we've got Barry and Barry realizes that the multiverse is gone everyone's dead this is Barry's breakdown as we know that Barry is going to be disappearing he's obviously gonna try his own way to escape and he's going to end up disappearing somehow, but somehow in the end return, you know, at the dawn of time. I'm pretty sure the reason why he comes back is I think he'll return with the Spectre with Oliver because we've seen in some of the trailers that Barry meets a version of the Speed Force that's Oliver, where it seems like that or Oliver's in the Speed Force and he's talking to him. So also backing this up is this next shot. We see Barry, he's back in his sort of scientist gear seems very much so like a season one Barry so this does seem to be actually like it's in the speed force and I think the Spectre has something to do with that talking about the Spectre you see Oliver in the background as the Spectre like I said the the whites are really really bright as you can see really blown out on the side of Melissa's face as Supergirl but anyway so Supergirl's there the dawn of time fighting then we get this shot and we've got the monitor talking to what looks like Ryan Choi might be part of a fight scene or they're just talking something like that then we get a flashback to what I believe was Elseworlds when Lois dropped and, and Superman caught her and we've got a pretty decent shot of Oliver as a Spectre 
you know, like I said, the whites are really sort of emphasizing his hood and everything like that. I think he looks pretty damn cool as a Spectre, to be honest. And just to point out the obvious, the screenshots are a bit pixelated because the trailers weren't uploaded in such high quality like the final trailer. So, you know, that's that's a bit of a problem. But anyway, so you see the Spectre walking with the Spectre, so obviously Oliver as well. And then we go to a city, looks like a city or an earth is restored because as of right now at the end of part 3 of Crisis all the earths have been destroyed and you've got you know this earth whatever it is maybe it's earth 1 well it probably is earth 1 and you see the shadow demons storming into this one place. We move on to a shot of the monitor the monitor's got the demons behind him obviously but he's in the foreground and the demons have just been added in because this was a shot we saw in a past trailer so you know this is just some additions Probably my favourite shot of most of uh, all of the footage that we've got for, you know, tomorrow's episodes is this one. We've got the anti-monitor standing next to Oliver as a spectre. Oliver takes his hood off and in reply to what the anti-monitor says is, the anti-monitor says, All life ends, only I am eternal. And Oliver in reply to that says, we'll see about that. And I just really feel like this is going to be a great moment to you know see the return of Oliver but also as a new version of himself essentially and so we've got the monitor as well obviously he's returning we've seen that in the past shot but anyway going back to the anti-monitor so the final fight scene seems to be outside we've seen from behind the scenes when they're chasing or storming after the anti-monitor and it looks like this is the same place and we see the anti-monitor here then we see the sort of Justice League lineup You've got Superman, Batwoman, Alex. Obviously, Alex is returning. Superman's returning. Who else do we have? We have Nia returning. We have Diggle. And also, obviously, Barry's come back. He's not disappeared anymore. And also, Wild Dog. And, you know, you've got the Paragons as well in the lineup. And it's just really cool kind of slow motion shot. And, yeah. So, we go on and we see more fighting again. This is, you know against the demons, the shadow demons, and so they're fighting in a circle. Obviously, notably, Oliver's not there, so I don't know, does Oliver stay dead, you know, after he becomes the Spectre and helps? I don't know what happens next for him. But then we got this shot of Sarah, and I found it kind of interesting, because some people online are saying this is a new shot. I really think it's an old shot, but it may be new, so what happens if, I don't know, this is a different iteration where Sarah actually dies? I don't know what they're going to do to get the Earths back. They're going to change some sort of destiny. Do they change Sarah's destiny? I'm not sure. But we get Superman and Supergirl flying. Like I said, not very good quality. But it confirms Superman is back and he's fighting with Supergirl. Then we got Mick Rory fighting with the Flash. Barry's sort of holding onto this wire. I don't know what for. Then the Atom is shooting out of the sky using one of his blasters. Supergirl is using heat vision. This seems to be like it's in the place where there is some sort of machine because in the monitor trailer which we'll get to right at the end of this video it seems to be like it's in the exact same place as where Supergirl's shooting at her heat vision. Then we go to the final shot of the final trailer and you've got Barry he's being attacked by this shadow demon and Barry is just in his normal clothes and just to cap off the trailer we got Oliver his hair's kind of wet and everything so it seems like this is new but he's, you know, obviously in the Green Arrow costume, not in the Spectre costume. We've got Barry running. I think this is when he disappears. We've got Supergirl flying in the air. And I like how it cuts between Oliver to Barry to Kara, you know, the main sort of trinity. And then you've got Sarah as well in the next shot. And then we've got our heroes fighting against the Shadow Demons, only to be attacked and to be, you know, flung into the air by the anti-monitor in that final fight scene that we talked about and you know there is a massive explosion as the anti-monitor I believe he actually hits the ground that we saw from the behind the scenes photos we've got a Lex Luthor trailer Lex is up to something and you know Supergirl is confronting him in these two shots and you see her here she gets up she's just landed and Lex is giving her this sort of weird look so I don't know what he's up to but I'm interested and you see Barry as well and it's kind of a weird perspective because you know there is 
a black outline, it's sort of blurred and everything, it's, it's like you're looking through an iris. And then we move on to the final trailer, this is the monitor trailer that I was talking about, there is some sort of weapon here, this looks like the same place that Supergirl was at, and so we are going to get some origin between the anti-monitor and the monitor, we've got this random new person, it looks like maybe his wife or his girlfriend or something like that, and this is the monitor, and it seems like they're in the exact same place, so I don't know what happens to her, but I believe the anti-monitor may be using her and, you know, his memories of her to manipulate him, you know, however the monitor returns. So the monitor is actually at the dawn of time as well, there is, you know, a big burst of light in front of him, so I'm guessing that's the anti-monitor and she warns him to get out and that's when it cuts to this weirdly oversaturated sort of flashy look at the anti-monitor as he faces off against him. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know, you know, these trailers came out over the past few days but I finally got around to it so hopefully you liked it and you know, hopefully you're excited for tomorrow for Crisis like I am. So thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.